Hi, I'm Mikey. I work in the literature department at Ohio Center for the Book at Cleveland Public Library, and this is what's read in CLE. The book I'm going to be talking about today is the novel Homegoing by a debut author named Ya Jesse. Uh, ya Jesse was raised in Alabama. She's 26 years old at the time of writing this novel, and she's a graduate of the Iowa Writers Workshop. The novel follows two half-sisters, Afia and Essie, who are separated and taken to different villages in the early 1800s. Afia is taken by a British colonial soldier, married and raised off in a, a coastal castle filled with a palace with many rooms. Unbeknownst to her, her half-sister, Essie, is taken by slave traders and is held in the dungeon below. What follows is that the novel traces eight generations after them, leading their characters and their stories and their journeys to modern day times. Essie is uh, taken to America and enslaved, and you are taken through chapters of the Civil War, the Great Migration, and even the Jazz Age. You then follow Afia's family through a war-torn Ghana as there's civil war and they deal with British colonization and slave traders. The novel is structurally very ambitious and each chapter toggles back and forth between a member of each side of the family and a different following generation, almost to the point where it's more of a collection of related short stories than a conventional narrative novel. The novel covers 300 years and in those 300 years you're including a lot of history of Ghana and history of the United States. Since the novel is such a non-traditional form, you really only spend 20 or 30 pages with each character, which may make it difficult for you to identify or relate to them. In our monthly book club meeting for the award-winning book club, many members uh, used the words breathtaking and powerful to describe this work and were surprised that this was something written by a debut author. A uh, few people even expressed that in the future this could be regarded as a truly classic American novel. I would recommend this book for anyone who has a slight interest in history, but also anyone who has a general interest in the human condition and the idea of perseverance and storytelling. If you want to find out what we're reading next, you can go to cpl.org for a list of all of our book discussions, or you can grab an Up Next at any Cleveland Public Library location. Let me know what you're reading by using the hashtag readincle.